Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 4 of 1 Timothy chapter 4. For everything created by God is good, and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with gratitude. For it is sanctified by means of the word of God and prayer. In pointing out these things to the brothers and sisters, you will be a good servant of Christ Jesus, constantly nourished on the words of the faith and of the good doctrine which you have been following. But stay away from worthless stories that are typical of old women. Rather, discipline yourself for the purpose of godliness, for bodily training is just slightly beneficial. But godliness is beneficial for all things, since it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. It is a trustworthy statement deserving full acceptance. For it is for this we labor and strive, because we have set our hope on the living God, who is the Savior of all mankind, especially of believers. Each day, we let either the world or God's Word shape our thoughts. Although most of us who are believers are quick to say we believe the Bible, at times our actions indicate we're influenced by something else. Where do you go when you want advice about a big decision? Websites, blogs, and the media offer a wealth of information that can be either beneficial or harmful. Coworkers, family, and friends also provide counsel, but do they rely on worldly reasoning or godly wisdom? The best resource for true guidance is Scripture, but we often rely on human intelligence and personal preferences instead. Hebrews 4 verse 12 describes God's Word as living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword and piercing into the deepest parts of the soul. Those who are reluctant to surrender to its penetrating work essentially reject the Lord by their refusal to listen and obey. But those who are willing to accept Scripture's reproof, correction, and wise nourishment will discover the riches of a life of faith. Letting the Word of God be your guide requires costly changes in thought, attitude, and behavior. Yet any adjustments or disciplines that produce godliness also result in eternal profit. And it all starts with going to Scripture for direction. <music> 